Well, hello. Um, I'm doing this video because of a person wanted me to show them my home cinema setup that I have. And uh, they wanted me to show them exactly what I have, how I've let it all out, and what it contains. So, this is a video of that. And what we're looking at now it doesn't look very much now, so if I step back, um, it should start to come into play. So, that, was, that is an 8 foot screen. Um, it's a wide screen because of the projector. Uh, it is a Sony VPL W400 QM, so that matches that screen perfectly and that you get perfect widescreen pictures. Uh, if I go to the left here, that big bad boy that you see there on the left is a B and W. Yes, B and W, not B and W, which stands for Browners and Wilkins. That is the ASW. 800 subwoofer. Um, it's an active subwoofer. There's the the fins. You can't really see that. Should probably be torch up, but that's the fins along there. Self powered. Sort of. Uh, I've had that all oh, ten years. And then that speaker there, the tall one that you see is the uh, B and W683 and the center speaker that is the uh, B and W HTM61 center channel and I'm going to tell you something that is one heavy speaker uh, if you look at the right that is the mid range and then you have the middle which is the uh, Higher frequencies. The one on the left is like a bass. They look a kind of mismatch. You think it was kind of drunk, you know, like a drunk man, one eye bigger than the other. But anyway, that's how they've done it. And then if you go over to the left, that's the speakers with the grills off. That there's for extra bass. Um, I have a B and I not B and W. I have a, a JLW sub in the car, and I must admit that makes that surround look kind of daft. But I must say, whenever the film's playing, um, it does give out the bass. You do feel the bass. There's no doubt about it. There's two of them in the ring, like so. Uh, we're kind of split level here. Say, kind of split level. So. And then if I take you over to here, then what we have here is the uh, Lexicon MC8 digital controller. Uh, that gives you the surround sound, it gives you the DTS, it gives you Dolby Digital, it gives you THX, 7.1 surround, and then that's just a wee poxy Sony DVD player, and then a Marantz. Our Marantz CD17, which I decided to keep because it's sort of like a classic, even though everything's digital nowadays. And then down here, we have the Lexicon RX7 7 channel power amplifier, and that is one heavy beast. That there must weigh near the 8 stone and weight, and see lifting it will almost kill you. It took three of us to lift that up the stairs in the box. And if I show you the back, there's all the back connectors. And then this wee boy here, uh, that's what I put my uh, videos on to. You just play them from that instead of actually putting on a physical DVD. You know, sometimes, not all the time. Now, what we have here then is a surround. See, that there is a snail. If memory serves me right, oh, can't get that off. 
that's an SR30. It has an upward facing woofer up here. Then it has a forward facing mid range here which fires out. There's two of them facing each other. Then you have a tweeter here, a tweeter in the middle. Then you have the same arrangement here. There's uh, nothing underneath. They're bar wired by the way, which gives you a full diffuse surround sound. And then that's just a DVD rack. Now I talked about the projector. So this is projector here. That's a Sony VPL W400 QEM. Um, I've had that donkey's years as well. It must be getting on for about nine year old that. But whenever that thing goes, it's like a hoover, you know, quite literally. But if you have the old stereo pumped up uh, with that amp and with those speakers and with the movie play on the light side, it is quite impressive. So, oh I, by the way, this room is uh, 20 feet from that wall to that wall and that would be the same almost from the balustrades there to the door. So it's a nice square room. Just nice for uh, surround sound. So I'm very very sorry to that person who asked me to upload a video because I know I've been talking about this uh, before Christmas but one thing or another um, different things happening in life I don't really get around to doing these sorts of things. So, uh, oh I, lastly, cable. Yes, I have to mention this cable now. This is uh, that blue cable. I made my own, my own lead to connect the subwoofer to the back of the pre out on the uh, surround sound. But this here, the white stuff that I have connected to the front center, um, this cable here is QED X tube XT300 Airlock. Now, why they call them Airlock, I have no idea, but there's no, there isn't any solder on the ends of those. There's no solder, they weigh down at the bottom. Uh, quite expensive, I have to say. I'm um, all that cable there. I think I came to over 380 pounds just for three runs of that stuff to the front. Uh, I didn't bother doing the backs, I just used ordinary exos. Or if your plants have a different way, I don't know, but anyway, that's how I pronounce it. So, yes, whenever this thing's going at night, it's like being in your own theatre, quite literally a better sound that you get at the pictures, the movies, or whatever it is these guys call it over there in America. But that screen there was bought, in fact, from these guys here. And they are based in uh, Hollywood, Flor uh, Hollywood Corporation, FL uh, 35021, or 33021. That was imported from the States by myself off the internet, shipped over to Belfast in Northern Ireland and hung that wall. And it's been hanging there ever since. Um, it's worked by electric, so you just flick a switch. Really, that should be up in the rafters on a slit in the ceiling so that you don't see anything like that. And then this black part that you see here it would just come down a wee bit more past the ceiling and that would be your screen. But uh, it's too much of a thing to do if you're moving house, so I just screwed it to the wall, which is better all around. Well, thank you for watching this video, and if you'd like to leave any comments, please do so. And again, thank you again. Okay now, bye-bye.